today's video, I'm going to show you how to make over a simple side table in less than 24 hours. I picked up this cutie little end table from a local auction. It's adorable and in wonderful shape, but I'd like to update the color. As always, I begin by removing the drawers, the hardware, and cleaning my piece very well with white lightning or pristine clean. I then give my project a slight sand scuff to make sure that my paint has something to stick to. For today's project, we'll be using nautical silk paint. Silk paint is amazing for one day flips because you can get it done and get it done fast. There's a built-in top coat and a built-in primer inside of this paint. Using a smooth synthetic brush, I apply the silk paint to the entire piece, working in sections. This way, as the paint dries, I won't be pulling it back. Silk paint requires a two hour minimum dry time in between coats of paint. I'll coat the entire piece in one coat of silk all-in-one paint. Again, this color is nautical. It's a really pretty deep navy color. Silk paint is self-leveling and mildew resistant. I really like to use this paint because it looks like you have a sprayed on finish when in reality you brushed your paint on. By top loading your brush, which means just putting that little bit of extra paint onto your brush and working in sections, you'll be done this piece in no time. Inside this little cabinet, the drawer glides are actually wood on wood. This is my little handy tip for lubricating your drawer joints. I like to use Big Mama's Butter in a really delicious smell like flannel and apply it liberally to the wood drawer glide. This is going to help you with your drawers opening smoothly as well as smell really, really good. So for projects like this where you have drawers on hinges and doors on hinges, I decide most likely not to remove them. Nine times out of ten, when I take off the doors on something vintage and older, they never go back on the same way, even if I number them and mark them and put them exactly where they were before. So for this project, I will use a small artisan brush and paint around the actual hinges on the doors. On this cute little end table, there are wood feet. I really wanted to accent them and bring them back to a freshened up state. For this, I'm gonna use no paint gel stain. I'm going to wear gloves and wipe on the color walnut just to refresh that wood and give it a kind of a little bump in color. I like to use an applicator pad for this part of the project and just wipe on one even coat onto each foot of the piece. This is going to freshen up that color and you don't even have to seal it if you don't want to. This is an oil-based product and it will seal quite hard on its own. If you'd like, you can use any of the gator hide or clear coats for this part of the project. I use no paint gel stain quite a bit on the top of dressers and pieces that have scratches and gouges. The deeper, darker colors tend to hide that and then when you put on your top coat, it makes it nice and smooth and flat. I'm keeping the beautiful original hardware on this piece and it's in great condition. It just needs a bit of a, a refresh. So I'm going to use my gilding wax. Gilding wax in gold has a nice antique gold color to it. It's going to cover up any of the marks on there. You can see on this particular piece of hardware there was like a small, small patina mark from age and distressing. So I'm just going to cover this entire hardware with gold and when it cures up since this is an oil based product it'll be tough as nails. You can buff it back to a bit of a shine.
once my two hour time limit has elapsed for my dry time in between my coats of silk paint, I came in and added the second coat. You're really gonna see the magic of this paint start to happen when you add on your second coat. It just levels out and looks so beautifully smooth. I love the way that silk paint absolutely glows. Once you get on that second coat, you step back and you look at it when it's dry, it literally shines. It has a beautiful satiny finish. I wanted to add kind of a modern design twist onto this piece. And for that part of the project, I'm going to be using silk screen stencils. I love using these stencils because they have a sticky back. So when you actually push your paint through the mesh, you have zero bleed through. I'm going to be using two sheets of the Patterns Silk Screen Stencil. So sometimes when you're working with the raised detail, the molding on the front of your, your pieces and stencils, you might want to tape off that area so you don't get any excess paint on the edges. For this part of the project, I'm just going to push my edges in, work around that molding in the front, and if any transfers to the molding, I'll wipe it off or then just paint it over and touch it up with nautical silk paint to cover. So you have a couple of different options when you're applying your paint to your silk screen stencil. There is a small tool inside each package, which is basically like a piece of plastic that can allow you to push your paint through that mesh. You could also use a foam roller, a foam brush, you could use a regular paintbrush, or you could use your small tool called a thingamajig. For this tool today, I'm gonna to use my foam and dandy, and we're just going to get in there and apply some gold digger to the piece. I like to use Moonshine Metallics when I do silkscreen stencils. You'll find that the Moonshine Metallic paint itself is a little bit thinner than chalk mineral paint. So when you're pushing it through the mesh, it just makes a perfect combination for zero bleed. I'm going to go in and just cover the entire area where I want the stencil to be on the front of the door. So when I peel this off, you're going to see some of the paint on the edge. Not a problem. Get a baby wipe. You can wipe it back or paint over top of it to touch up. Silk screen stencils are washable and reusable. Right after I finish this part of my project, I'll just take that silk screen stencil to my sink and along with my scrubby soap, give it a little bit of a wash, lay it with the sticky side up on the counter, and once it's dry, you can package it back up and use it again. Even though my silk all-in-one paint has that built-in top coat, since this is an end table and people might be putting cups and glasses on there, I'm going to add my extra insurance by adding a clear coat just to the top of the piece. 
I'm going to dampen my blue sponge with a little bit of water. This clear coat is a water base and it's going to go down a little bit milky. Using a water on your sponge, it's just gonna allow you to keep that clear coat movable while you cover the entire top of your project. You can add as many coats of clear coat as you like for this project. I ended up doing two even coats of satin clear coat with my blue sponge. Once you're done this part, you can just put that original hardware back on your piece and you are completely finished. You can clean the inside and then apply some Big Mama's butter as well to condition the wood and make it smell fabulous. So there you go, painting made simple with a little bit of silk paint, some silk screen stencils, and a touch of gilding wax. This project was done in less than one day. I think it looks beautiful in blue and has an updated modern flair.